psychiatrists pay no attention to the brain and neurologists pay no attention to the mind, right? right? Now psychiatrists are paying attention to the brain and they're finding that brain dysfunction, yeah. brain inflammation is actually <clears throat> driving much of mental illness, everything from depression to anxiety to OCD to bipolar to schizophrenia to autism. All these things are connected to brain dysfunction. And yes, it can be caused by an external stressor, but it also can be caused by nutritional deficiencies in your microbiome and environmental toxins and mm -hmm. things that actually are treatable and measurable. There's a very famous trial in Australia called the SMILES trial, but it was essentially they swapped out, you know, did a randomized controlled trial of giving people healthy whole foods versus processed food. And and there was a huge improvement in mental health by eating whole foods. They've done studies, for example, in juvenile detention centers by swapping out the crap for healthy food, had a 97% reduction in violence, 75% reduction in use of restraints, 100% reduction in suicide rates, which is the third leading cause of death in teenage boys. Profound. In prisons, it's the same thing. You get prisoners healthy food. Violent crime goes down 56%. So if you add a multivitamin, it goes down to 80%. Wow. And, and with functional health, we're finding a, a huge amounts of nutritional deficiencies. So I just had a friend who's a vegan and he was severely omega-3 deficient very depressed and he's piling on omega-3s and his mood is completely different. And we know that omega-3s play a huge role in mood. We know that folate and B vitamins play a huge role. And we know that many people are deficient in these nutrients and we can measure those biomarkers with testing that wasn't available before for people. Now it's accessible to anybody.